Today we are looking for a strange animal, the blankie. He lives few hours in a day in this kind of little house. He shit for maybe two times an hour a day. That's pretty awesome. So we're gonna wait that he's, he's gonna finish and maybe ask him some question. My name is Laurent Delorme. I am the team manager for the Lapierre Gravity Republic. For 10 years we have been working towards running the most successful team on the mountain bike World Cup circuit. For 2013 we have the biggest chance yet to make this dream a reality. Come with us on this journey and experience our life on wheels. We are talking about the age, we are talking about gravity and we all know that the people are on a certain way very professional but on the other hand when there is a bar, a nightclub As long as the results are here, I'm not worried. This is always probably one of the funnest places, you know. The loudest I've ever heard anyone scream, people scream that I couldn't hear anything when I was coming through like the rock garden there. Just dudes with chainsaws and stuff and girls with their tits out and shit, so it's pretty crazy. You are in a professional team, you have to work hard, you have to, to be the best, but you can have also some good time. My first time in Whistler, I wanted to do everything and it was maybe the best week of the year. Just uh, riding cool tracks, cool races, you know. Don't take it seriously and, and go out in the night, see some, some good stuff. We have kind of, uh, of a rule in the team. Then, uh, yeah, if you want to party, no problem. If you know that after you will be able to ride or if you are able to, to be on time for your flight, then it's not a problem party, it's just a part of the race season. We're 
in Norway for the fourth World Cup, I think. Fifth, I think. Fifth? Oh yeah, maybe fifth. <laughs> This season was a good, good time for her to, to come in the team because she knew well Jack, she knew well me. She was looking for a new team and we were looking for a, a top level madame and women. Then it was the perfect timing. Uh, for a season with him and uh, yeah, definitely is uh, yeah, he's my my best rider and uh, he's a very very good person and uh, yeah, now he's not just my rider, he's uh, yeah, he's a big friend and uh, for sure now he's uh, it's not impossible to to change, but uh, if he leave one day or me, he's a pretty pretty hard. Uh. Yeah, Loic, um, yeah, he's a cool guy with good friends and he's kind of like a younger brother. I get pissed off when he beats me, but. It's kind of cool, you know. His English is improving and his personality is coming to the forefront, but his riding is too. And I think as a young junior or a young elite rider, he's got wide shoulders now and strong arms, and he didn't have that two years ago. And I think that's helping his riding. We wanted to have a junior rider because of the, the, the real uh, junior World Cup this season. Then we wanted to uh, to have a really fast junior rider. He's Loris is coming from the same place and the same club as the Loic. He's like a boy, you know? You like to take the boy in the school, you know? Yeah. The crazy one, like, ah! you return the noise like that. Ah! You return the music and uh, everything. I know, imagine he, he can do the, the maximum run in the, in the bike like that. You know? Oh, red flag. Oh. Oh. Uh. Lot of shit, dude. Uh. So good, dude. Stay still. Hey, don't move. How are you, dude? Oh, I look cool. Damn it. I look cool. You okay? I look cool. Huh? I don't understand you. Oh, Trisorico. Oh, come on. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, whoa, whoa. Take it easy, dude. Oh, oh, no. Let's get you set down. Whoa, whoa. whoa. Oh, right. Come on, sit down. Sit down, dude. I don't know why. It's all good. Stay safe. Stay there. Fuck off. Oh, you okay? Fuck. Oh, you somehow okay. You okay? Fuck you. Okay. Ah. We were all pretty lucky. Yeah, because uh, we were all, all scared. Eesh. We got to ask for money, dude. Oh. Fuck. The second crash for me was really hard, you know, and uh, it was also a lesson for me. Uh, a lesson that, uh, oh, yeah. that now the relation with my riders is uh, more than a professional relation, you know, it's more, more than, than this. And uh, I want to keep them uh, in one piece and I don't want to see them in hospital or something like that. Laurent is always here for you and when you have problems, He's here for helping you to be back on on the bike or maybe on the results. He help you to yeah to be good in your mind. Normally, it's quite hard for a young fellow when you have a big crash like the first race. Like it was in the World Cup, but it was at the BDS in the Scotland. He had a really massive crash, and he was. It's really, it's quite hard when you're young to come back from stuff like that. Hey, we are on Wednesday, three days after the race, and uh, we are still in Fort William because uh, our young rider Loris had a massive crash during practice on Sunday morning, and uh, he had to go to hospital to check everything, and. Uh, it was, uh, it was really hard for him because he, he broke his kidney and uh, he's got problem at the lounge. And uh, the people at the hospital were uh, really kind uh, with him, but he, he really needed a lot of recovery and a lot of time. He was sleeping the, the whole three days. 
he's got a small surgery, a tube in the in the lounge, and uh, I'm really happy because we are on Wednesday and he's back at the he's back at the bungalow now. Hey Loris, how are you? <laughs> you found something to to help you to recover? Yeah. The barbecue sauce. When I I, I crashed. I was on the floor, like <coughs> I can't uh, breathe, so it, it was a little bit scary. My kidney uh, is a little bit hurt. I have some problem with my lung, so it was uh, uh, so long to to evacuate the air. How long are you gonna be away for? And Six weeks with uh, without uh, nothing, just uh, the TV and the uh, heat. So this is hip hop now um, my uh, injury uh, is repaired now and I'm happy to be here because uh, I have no pain and it's so cool to, to ride again here. When I see the crash, the, the, lowest, the lowest one is a, is a massive crash, you know. Yeah, the Fawian one is a, you see the big impact on the, on the body like that. And for me it's uh, impossible to to do, you know, maybe uh, for a week after the, the first World Cup in, uh, in the same track, you know, in, uh, when, when Laurent is saying, no, no, but, but Loris is uh, coming in the first World Cup. What? He's coming. He's ready. Yeah, yeah, normally, yeah, the doctor is okay. No, no impossible. <laughs> it's impossible. What's wrong with your cat? Look at me! Hey! 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 <laughs> yeah, today is the first day with uh, all the riders on the same place on the same time. Really happy uh, with that. We thought that uh, Loris wa wa was not there, was not here, and in fact he's here. He's ready to ride, and uh, now the the hospital and everything it's behind, and. Uh, we just have to go straight now to the, to the finish line. We are in the gondola and uh, I'm a little bit scared. I just see, I just saw Philadelphia. Oh yeah. Pretty, 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 pretty. Gas. Yeah, but I just uh, we prepare the Lois for for the race, and uh, we we will see. Uh, we will see. Ouais, Jack. Loris, il a pris que un gars. It was pretty strange, just on the top, because I take my helmet and one glove, and after I, oh fuck, just one glove. So I, I do without gloves, is like Sam, but it was not the, the same time. Je te laisse. Je t'aime pas. Attends deux minutes. Hey mon fils. I I have a good run. In the middle, it was very cool. On the top, and all the people on the track are oh, so cool. We are fun! So, you're more so cool. But at the finish, I, have, I was dead on the, the big jumps. It was so hard to, to pedal and jump. I'm fourth and so cool. Behind Australian, English, and uh, maybe, I don't know, uh, another one. It's so cool. I'm happy. What's happened, Blanky? 
Oh yeah. I won't come, see you Monday. <laughs> <laughs> I think just everything we did in the off season, like working with Jack and we were, all the team came to New Zealand and we pretty much did everything we could to make the bike as best as we can for the first World Cup and we did a lot of testing and for me the bike was 100% at the first race. Already yesterday it was really good, you know, heaps of people on the site, and today it looks even more, so it's awesome. For William is uh, the race, you know, the legendary race, just a big crowd, the track is amazing, you know. To be on the podium or a good result on this track makes you a good rider. I think, well, I think there is a lot to say about Sam. Of course, this year the relationship between us uh, changed a little bit because um, I'm not his little brother, you know, like I was before. I mean, still his, his brother, but not as a baby like I was. Well, Loic and Sam, you know, they are on the same time like friends and, uh, you know, competitors. So it's probably like a weird feeling for them, but they always help each other. And if we, they need to talk about a line, obviously, if someone sees a line, they say to each other, you know. What are you doing, bro? What? Ah! <laughs> I lose! Yeah, Fort William was uh, the start of a good season, pretty much. Like, uh, like coming into it was really good and I felt perfect. And I felt like I could have even won that weekend, you know. You no, know, still to come away with the podium is awesome, you know. After a few years of nothing, really, just like just top tens and stuff like that and yeah to get a podium in the first race was awesome and then couldn't ask for more you know. What are they doing then? Listen for your name, bro. Fuck, I can't hear fucking anything. We have to continue like this. We 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 can we can mark harder. I think so. And uh, we have to continue because it's just the beginning, and uh, it's not time for party. It's now. It's time to work now. We are the airport, and um, we're going to Milano. And, uh, yeah, and we had um, two hours sleep. Yeah, man. <laughs> Three in the morning. Like, uh, let's go. Okay. Now 10 and we just landed in Milan. So um, yeah, it's been a, a long day already. Feels like I've just travelled from New Zealand. <laughs> Still a couple hours left so. Yeah, I think a three hour drive and then we'll be in Val de Sol. Thank you, yeah, you can come down. Oh, 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 o
That's what you get. Hey? That's what you get. <laughs> he pretty much followed in their footsteps to become like them and now he's the most Kiwi Frenchman, so. A push and a, a crush. You always need a first step, you always need a lesson. What's up with you here, mate? It was fucked up. The track was rough like before, fast and rough. <laughs> 